What's up, y'all? This is Eddie Colson here, real estate investor, business acquisition guy. And today, I had a few people that was asking me questions. They said, Eddie, what are some of the books out there that you recommend that we can read to become a little bit more knowledgeable about real estate investing and just to make our knowledge a little bit more, um, better? So I have a list of five books. And, I, and look, I want you guys to, to make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end because I have a bonus that I want to share with y'all. Um, and I think that will really, really help y'all. So, um, these five books. First, number one, I wanna I wanna talk about one of the books that have inspired so many, so many real estate investors, as well as myself, um, and 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 helped me get started and just changed my mindset and made me think about a lot of different things as far as investing in general. Um, and that's Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, the Rich Dad Poor Dad is not just one book; it's a series of different books. They talk about investing in businesses, investing in real estate, and things like that. It goes over assets, liabilities, and um, the cash flow quadrant. So you have, you know, the different things like big businesses, small businesses, um, you know, corporation, and, and just self-employment, and the different things, and the different things of that nature, and how you can start investing in your business and investing in your future. And I think it's a great book to help you with your mindset, to just get you from switching over from the consumer mindset and over to the producer and then the investor mindset where you're not just looking to spend money every weekend but you're looking to save that cash flow and how important that is to invest into your future so that's book number one book number two is the millionaire real estate investor by gary keller uh, this book is a phenomenal book um, it goes over just how to have a network of real estate investors and mentors and bird dogs, real estate agents and wholesalers and just different ways to, to actually source different deals to come to you on a regular basis and how you can actually outsource and just the mindset behind a real estate investor and building their portfolio. And it really talks about how you can start buying properties and owning them and why having a rental portfolio is very important and not just like flipping houses and wholesaling houses houses and things like that but while the millionaire real estate investor is always focused on his portfolio so definitely check out that book by Gary Keller the millionaire real estate investor and the third book is another Gary Keller um, uh, book called the millionaire real estate agent now I'm not a real estate agent you know um, I, I work with a lot of agents I wholesale I wholesale a lot of different properties um, throughout the United States and uh, what the millionaire real estate agent has taught me is really just how to have a good wholesaling business. It teaches you just how to hire different people and how to just set up systems so that way you can have your wholesaling business because a real estate agent and a wholesaler, um, they have the same similarities as far as finding properties for other buyers. The only difference is, is that our buyers are repeat customers and I, that's why I love wholesaling because they're always looking to buy. You have a buyer's list and they're always looking to buy every single month. Um, on a regular basis as opposed to a first-time homeowner um, they may buy a house maybe twice in their entire lifetime so you know I really like this book because it just talks about the systems hiring different people and how you can set those things up so number three Gary Keller millionaire real estate number four is a book by Mike Butler it's um, called landlording on autopilot Now this book is really good uh, once you start buying properties, you start acquiring them. And, and if you've taken a lot of the, the strategies that I've taught about creative financing and buying properties, owner finance, owner finance, um, you know, uh, subject tos and lease options, and you're able to acquire some rental properties, then this book is very important because it teaches you how to outsource and how to systemize your real estate, your rental portfolio um, so that way you're not always, you know, just chasing um, tenants and, and just doing some crazy stuff with with fixing up toilets and and all the just headaches with that comes with being a landlord so you want to have your portfolio on autopilot and have it as passive as possible even though it's residual you know you gotta know the difference between residual and passive but have it as passive as possible to where it's working on autopilot and then you're not the one that's just going out to the properties on a regular um, day basis so definitely landlorded on autopilot is number four. and number five is a book by my man Peter Harris commercial real estate investing for dummies now don't be offended by the book title this book it just makes it so simple to understand commercial real estate investing commercial real estate investing is you know it's, it's an advanced it's an advanced topic you know you, you're, you're talking about dealing with cash on cash cap rate returns um, IRR as opposed to just looking for apples on apples apples to apples and looking for comps that fit that single family property. So if you're looking like a single family property and you wanna know how much that property is worth, you can go in the immediate area 
search properties that look just like that, the same square footage, the same amount of beds and baths and things like that. See how much they are selling for and then I can give you an idea of how much that house that you're trying to buy is worth. Whereas on a, a commercial um, property, it's based more so on how much money that, that actual asset is actually bringing in on a regular basis. And you know, I believe once you start investing your own money and your own credit, you should start investing in the commercial property. So this is one of the books that's very, very key. It breaks it down in a very simple form. As a, you don't have to be like some accountant or some type of, you don't have to go to some type of uh, business school in order to understand this book. This book is very simple and it really breaks down things very well. So my man Peter Harris, Commercial Real Estate for Dummies. Um, and I'm glad you guys stayed to the end because the bonus that I want to give you guys is my book, my personal book that I wrote. It talks about wholesaling houses with little to no marketing money. See, I find that a lot of people, they've learned uh, from other gurus, from other courses and things like that, how to spend a lot of money on marketing. We tell you that, hey, wholesaling, you don't, have, you don't need any money to invest. And when you do these courses, they say, well, you need some money to market, right? And I do believe that you should put money into marketing at some point, but just starting out, you might not have any money. You might not have... Uh, you know any type of savings or anything like that to put into mailers or, or cold calling or skip tracing or things like that so I just wrote down the different things that I did to help me to jumpstart my career when I had literally nothing um, you know and how you can do the same thing you know I was uh, I was literally like couch surfing I was basically homeless I wasn't even on the streets but I was living at different a lot of my friends couch couches and things like that I got kicked out of my house when I was 18 years old and that's what started me on my real estate investing career and you know I read those five different books these different books that I told you guys about started with rich dad poor dad and you know I did a lot of different um, things to, to buy these properties and start and start actually wholesaling these properties and I had to be creative with my marketing because I didn't have money to put into mailing campaigns which was a really big thing back then so I decided to write down every single steps on all the things that I did to help me close deals and start scaling my wholesaling business and how you can do exactly the same so if you guys are interested in knowing how to start your business and you know start your wholesaling career and you don't have a lot of money to start then I definitely suggest that you go to Amazon and purchase that book wholesaling houses with little to no marketing money. All right guys, peace.